Yeah, this is a very bizarre story. Just so strange that we thought maybe it might be a hoax, but I did look at a photograph of this skeleton indeed lying on the sofa. Take a look. I see all kind of stuff. I mean, these are abandoned houses we're talking about. It's Quincy Norman's job to clean out old vacant houses. He works for a company that contracts with the Detroit Land Bank. On Thursday afternoon in the 900 block of East Hollywood in Detroit. I walked past a couch that I walked past like a week ago. And the same, like nothing has changed in the house. I just didn't see it until today. Lying on the couch, a human skeleton. Was leaned over on the couch like it had been sleep or something, like he may have fallen asleep. Quincy rushed his crew out of the house, locked the front door, and called 911. It wasn't nothing that it was like, oh, I, I, I can't be around it or anything like that. It was just kind of like, oh, all right, well, we got to do something about this. Meanwhile, neighbors tell Fox 2 they haven't seen anyone living here for about two years. They remember a man squatting at the house after he was no longer able to pay the property taxes. But right now, no one knows if the remains Quincy found belongs to that man or someone else. Especially like during these uh, COVID times, um, you definitely want to keep the family close because if the body was in there for a year plus, that means nobody called. Or even if they tried to call, they couldn't get in contact with him. I hope they find out who um, who this guy is because it's like it's a very unfortunate that he had to go like that. You know what I mean? And of course, that photograph just too graphic to show on the air. Meanwhile, the medical examiner's office has so much to figure out. We don't even know if this was a man. Possibly it could have been a woman. How long has this person been deceased? How did they die? So many unanswered questions tonight. Huel, Monica, back to you. Yeah, it is troubling. Are there neighbors that are in close proximity to that house, uh, va homes that are inhabited that, uh, that are right next door? They have to be pretty shocked by all of this. Oh my gosh, they were so shocked. I mean, there's houses on either side. There's houses across the street, all not, you know, people living in them. The people across next door, when I told them why we were there and what happened, they literally were like, oh my gosh, we had no idea. They never smelled anything. They never sensed anything. They literally just thought this guy was squatting one minute and then possibly he had just moved out. So really a mystery around all around. Hopefully the medical examiner's office though, will be able to try and piece together this puzzle.